Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on the Grab Pack 2.0 from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. We are going to start from the very beginning with this tutorial, meaning we are not using anything from the previous Grab Pack series. This episode, we are going to be a first person controller with sprinting and crouching, and make the Grab Pack with switchable hands and be able to grab and drag objects. Next episode, I want to add some actual mechanics for each hand and polish it up with some animations and sound. We also just hit 500 subscribers, we are halfway to 1000, so if you're not subscribed, you should definitely consider doing that. And guys, I know you really want me to make an Unreal Engine tutorial on the Grab Pack, but I've never used Unreal and the programming done in these videos will not work in Unreal Engine. This video is also made in Unity 2021.3.25 F1. Many other versions probably work, but I suggest you should use the same or newer. Alright, before we dive into the tutorial, I wanted to tell you about the game I recently released on Steam called Luminile Found Footage. It's a liminal space horror game where you journey through the backrooms with realistic graphics. Spoiler alert, you aren't alone. Check out the game with the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first step, like always, is to download a model. This is the one we are using today. The link is in the description. Make sure you download the FBX version. Some people were having issues importing the models in the previous videos, so I'll show you how to import a model from Sketchfab. First, locate the zip file that was downloaded. Then, right click the file and select Extract All. Then locate the new folder that was created under the same name. Inside, you will find the FBX file. Now you can either drag and drop it into Unity, or right click in Unity and select Import Asset and select your file. Also, make sure to import all the textures found under the texture folder. Make a new script called Simple FPS Controller. All the code is available in the Google Drive linked in the description. You can now also make a new capsule called Player. You might want to pause the video a bit here to make sure you fill in all the inspector fields correctly, and make sure you have all the proper components on the capsule. Also, you can add a camera as a child of the capsule and move it near the top of the object. Create a canvas as a child of the camera and set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Under the canvas, create a new UI image and set it up like so. The art is available in the Google Drive previously mentioned. Now, back to the grab pack. Once it is imported, you might want to scale it up a little bit. Then, right click on the parent object and select Prefab Unpack Completely. Then, select each mesh hand object and set it as a child of its corresponding hand object as shown. Select the flare hand, the purple hand, and the green hand and set their X scale value to negative 10. Now, move the hands onto the correct spot on the grab pack. Once you have one of the right hands placed, you can copy its position and paste it into the other two right hands. Position and scale the grab pack around the camera so it looks proper in game view. Then, make the grab pack a child of the player's camera. Now, make a new script called Item Sway. Since this script is fairly small, let's program it together. Thank you. 
Add the script to the GrabPack parent object and input the values like so. Make a new script called Hand Switcher. Once again, all the code is available in the Google Drive. Put the Hand Switcher script on the GrabPack game object and apply the references like so. Next, make two empty game objects as children of the grab pack, one called right hand spawner and the other left hand spawner. Place these exactly where the left and right hands should spawn. Select hand launcher objects under green, purple, and blue hands. Add a line renderer component to all three and set the settings like this. Create a new empty game object and call it empty in all caps. Give it a line renderer component, but disable it. Create some cubes and give them rigid body components. Then, create a new layer and call it physics. Assign the cube to the new layer. Make a new script called grab pack. You can get the code for this in the description. Add this script to the grab pack. Assuming you didn't change the names of any of the grab pack related objects, this is what the inspector should look like. Pause the video and assign all the references and set the values. If everything was done correctly, you should now have something like this. But if not, don't worry. You can either comment your specific problem down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can, or you can go to the Google Drive and download the whole project as a Unity package. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, maybe you could consider subscribing so you get notified when episode 2 comes out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.